Hi, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. Glad to be back with you. Well, I started a series yesterday on why we celebrate Christmas. Now, I know that most likely Jesus was not born at the end of December. But I want to celebrate that he was born and that he loves us. And Father God loves us, had a plan to save us. So we're going to continue uh, going on about that tonight. So we're going to learn more about it. And one thing I think is so wonderful is that God, before he does anything big, he lets his people know. Yeah, there are different ways he can let us know. Sometimes he talks through prophets. Prophets are people that God will use to get a message through. He will give the message to the prophet and the prophet will tell the people. Angels. Angels are something else. They are beings that live in heaven with God. And sometimes he sends them to give us a message. There's many cases in the Bible where that happened. Sometimes we get a message from God just by reading his holy book, the Bible. That's usually the way that we do. And sometimes we could have a dream that God gives us or a vision that God gives us. But the two ways I'm going to talk about tonight are through prophets and angels. Now, I'm going to tell you about some of those that told about Jesus' birth long before and up close to the time that Jesus was actually born. Long, long ago, there was a prophet named Isaiah, about 700 years before Jesus was born. <clears throat> this is what he wrote. He wrote that a special child would be born to a virgin. Now, a virgin would be a young woman who had never been with a man. She wasn't married. And so she would have this child. Now, that is not normal. Because God's plan has been for a father and mother. But... God had a different one for this child that would be born, a different plan. And his name would mean God is with us. Second one I'm going to tell you about is long ago, about 200 years ago, there was a priest. That priest was a person that uh, was a special servant of God. A priest named Zacharias. He and his wife Elizabeth were very sad because they had no children and now they were too old. But one day while Zachariah was doing his work for God, an angel came and he said, I've heard, God has heard your prayers and he's going to answer them. And then he told him that Elizabeth was going to have a boy. And they were to name him John. He will be a mighty prophet and will prepare the way for the Savior of the world. The one that will help us all become friends with God again. That was, that's a wonderful promise. Now the third messenger I want to tell you about was when the angel Gabriel appeared to a young virgin named Mary. Now, 
She was young, but she was engaged. And he said to her, the Lord is with you. Don't be afraid. You will have a baby sent by God. He will be the son of God. Call him Jesus because he will save his people. And your cousin Elizabeth is going to have a baby too, even though she's too old, because God can make anything happen. So Mary went to see her cousin Elizabeth. And the angel was right. She was going to have a baby. When Mary spoke, the baby inside Elizabeth jumped. Have you ever felt a woman's belly when the baby kicked inside? Or they wiggled somehow? It's really interesting. Well, that happened. Kind of a jump inside of Elizabeth. So Elizabeth knew that Mary's baby was her Lord, our Lord. Then Mary went home. Meanwhile, an angel went to talk to Joseph and told him, don't be afraid to marry Mary. The baby in her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. His name is going to be Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. That's why Jesus was coming to save us from our sins so that we could all be friends with God again and get to live with him one day. Well, tomorrow we're going to continue this true story. I hope you're back with me then. So it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. I want to pray blessings on you and yours in your house and out of your house in the day and in the night. And whatever you do, keep dreaming. Good night and God bless you.